Turning to the local fight against COVID-19, the CDC has new research saying a large outbreak is not likely to happen inside schools if the right guidelines are in place. Joe McLean is joining us live from the school board on the South Bank. Joe. Yeah, this uh, new research appears to show that the virus doesn't spread as widely in a school environment as it does in a regular uh, community environment. That is, if the school has certain safety regulations in place, uh, such as masks, social distancing, and uh, student groups cohorting. Now, uh, there are a few things, though, to consider when looking at this research. New research from the CDC released today suggests COVID-19 doesn't spread as often in schools that are following safety guidelines on masks, social distancing, and student cohorting. For this research, the CDC studied data from 17 schools in rural Wisconsin from the end of August to the end of November. In the schools they looked at, student mask wearing was high, and the rate of COVID-19 within schools was lower than in the county overall. The cases averaged 3,453 per 100,000, but for the county at large, it was 5,466 per 100,000. And of the 191 cases that were found in the school district, only seven of them were linked to contact at a school. The researchers say this suggests that with masks, social distancing, and keeping students in smaller, consistent groups, the risk of an outbreak is significantly reduced. A viewpoint published in the Journal of the American Medical Association said, quote, accumulating data now suggests a path forward to maintain or return primarily or fully to in-person instructional delivery. Actions include taking steps to reduce community transmission and limiting school-related activities such as indoor sports practice or competition that could increase transmission risk. It should be noted, though, that the data for these studies was collected before the emergence of new virus variants and before holiday breaks, which are suspected of causing more robust outbreaks in the past few weeks. Now, we've also been asking our local school districts what their plans are for the big spring events, uh, the big spring high school events like prom and graduation. Now, we've already uh, told you that Duval plans to hold its uh, graduation ceremonies like it did last spring outdoors. Uh, in St. John's County, we've learned the district has not yet finalized its graduation plans. It's actually working on a plan B to hold ceremonies outdoors. Also, proms are on hold in that district, but that could change. Uh, Clay County, meanwhile, will follow the same safety protocols as it did last year uh, with its traditional graduations. Uh, there's no decision yet in that district on uh, whether or not there's going to be a prom. We've checked with other districts around the area as well. We're still waiting to hear their final plans. Now, coming up at 6, uh, we're hearing from uh, the family of a teacher who tested positive yesterday. Uh, she says it's likely uh, that she was exposed because she didn't get the information about students in her own classroom soon enough. That's coming up again at 6. Reporting live tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.